Yes, hello everybody, this is Ray from Ray's United. This is the second edition of the What Ifs videos. Now, in this video, it's all about another what if. Now, this one, I've been sitting down thinking, contemplating. What if? What if the GCV, which was um, introduced in China, were to be... Or if Pi's price were to be anywhere near that during the open mainnet, what if that? What would you do? <laughs> Listen, I, I just had this um, epiphany and I thought I'm going to do all these what ifs videos, right? So the first what if you watched it, um, controversial. Yes, that's the point, isn't it? Strike it, strike a nerve of people. Let's, let's see what they're about. And if you know what they're about, you will know if the people actually watch your content or they just look at things at face value. And then the face value ones will be found out. And when they're found out, they're blocked from the channel, of course, because they talk shit. You know what I'm talking about? Excuse my French. But, you know, that's what I needed to say. However, those of you that watch till there, which is majority of you, you know that you're supposed to be pragmatic. You're supposed to be open-minded. You're supposed to be patient and watch till the end and listen. Because for all you know, it's a prank video. But it's not a prank video. So the question is, what if the GCV that we'd been talking about actually comes to fruition during open mainnet? What would you do? Without further ado, you know what to do. Smash that like button, guys. Smash the subscribe button. Become a member. Let's watch the membership grow. Glenn, Lizzie B, um, Gabriel, and Sean D. And many more. Uh, member J Dog as well. You know, members of this channel. Richard Brown. All these people are members of the channel and they're helping the channel. So you can also be one of them. Help the channel. Let's grow the channel. And when I come back, he's on. Right, I'm back. This is Ray from Race Tonight. I'm not gonna take much of your time, but hey, when I give you small talk, you know, you know, just absorb the small talk and let's uh, go further. Anyway, so like I said, the question is, what would you do? So no, what if the JCV global consensus value, if you want to know what that means, happens to be what most uh, some pioneers, you know, are purporting it to be? What would you do? Now, let's go back. Let's give you some background. Okay. So, just over a year ago, uh, people in China, particularly because that's where it originated from, tried to, um, they just, in a, in a way, it was more jovial, you know, trying to have fun. And they said, right, so let's accept a global consensus value. That was after we were told that we were in the... Um, Enclosed network where we had to build utility and people had to agree on a certain price, you know, individually because that was the whole plan, right? People had to agree that between two of them, between two parties or groups that, okay, this is what we agree upon and so on and so forth. So let's agree that I'm going to pay such and such for this product or you're going to, I'm going to accept such and such for, you know, this product. And so they barter and then eventually they come to an agreement and that's what they, the person pays, right? And it, was well, it wasn't agreed, but generally, a lot of people gravitated towards the fact that, okay, maybe it's best if we had a, an acceptable price globally. Do you know what I mean? So people started talking about it. You know, people were like, well, what do I do? Maybe I, I could accept $100 per pie. Somebody was like, maybe I could pay $50 per pie. And people were like, no. Um, then my pie is not as valuable as I think it is. But then again, value is relative, isn't it? So the, 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 the thought process became extensive. And so people started thinking, well, what would make pie extremely um, scarce, extremely expensive, extremely invaluable? So somebody in China, it doesn't matter what currency that was in. 
um, I was introduced to it. A friend, somebody who, who used to be prominent on my channel said, well, it, I should check um, Twitter that there is a price that people are purporting. So obviously um, it started trending, you know, GCV, Pi GCV, and then it started trending, hashtag 314159. But I was thinking, what currency is that? And what does that mean? Obviously, chose the characters, the first six characters of Pi, as in the Pi uh, digits, 3.14159 and so on. So, interestingly, uh, I looked at them like, so what currency is it? It wasn't said. So, I was a little bit bemused because obviously I need to know the currency before I can, you know, uh, start um, glorifying something like that. Uh, unfortunately, well, uh, no, fortunately for others, when it came out, it was like, uh, initially I thought it was in the Yuan, Chinese Yuan. So uh, 314159, so 314,159. So I thought it was a Chinese yuan. At the time, it was, it was Chinese yuan. I don't know the conversion rate with dollars, but it could have probably been around $1,000, around that. Or no, some people were like, it's 6700 dollars, the conversion. So some people were like, all right, it should be that. Listen, if I'm wrong, correct me. Okay, correct me. I haven't worked out the maths over there. And so that's where the 6700 dollars, dollars per price came from and others were like no they would rather keep it as high you know and so it became a thing it became controversial people were forming factions the gcv supporters against the non-gcv supporters and so on and so forth it was um sort of and even it it, it so happened that it became something called hashtag uh, a gc pi civil war or gcv civil war i don't know you remember that so all of these things happened and to me when i look back it was interesting times you know friendships were made enmities were created and um all unnecessary particularly the enmity part it, it was unnecessary but you know uh, people made friends out of that as well which is the positive part you know because they shared a common uh, sort of thing now as to whether that gcv value or sorry figure could manifest during open main that nobody knows but as you're watching this video right now towards the end i'm gonna tell you but there's another side to it when i come back i'm gonna tell you that i will be right back all right i'm back so this is the flip side of it so the flip side of it is could we see something else other than GCV? That's the high possibility. That's the high probability because, like I said, GCV, if you want to look at it, um, it will break every norm, you know. And when I say GCV, I'm talking about the one that we actually inculcated, which was, I mean, was inculcated by some pioneers, and that's the $314,159 per pie. That's what a lot of people are hoping, a lot of pioneers are hoping that pie could trade at realistically. Again, I'm using the word realistically, so people should understand. Realistically, it can't trade at that. Realistically. However, nobody knows. That's the thing. But one thing I know is if it trades at that, we're talking about we will be dealing in currencies which don't exist. I'm talking about the open mainnet. I'm not talking about the enclosed network. So open mainnet, we, that means we'll be dealing in currencies unless probably we have only about a few um probably one million pi in circulation you know if you have one million pi in circulation then we'll be talking about 314 billion pi sorry 314 billion dollars worth uh, of market capitalization so only one million pi we get to 10 million we'll be talking about 3.14 trillion you know that is still somewhat possible uh, if we trade uh, if we have 100 million then we'll be talking about 31 you understand 31.4 a trillion now that will be pushing the boundary do you know what i mean so that's how i'm looking at it to ascertain it so it's all about the number of circulation if the circulation is much less in the millions then we could it could be realistic in future in future not the starting price but in future but if the circulation happens to be close to the billions which could happen then I could tell people who support the GCV that it can't be realistic. Do you understand what I'm saying? So this is where you have to be careful what waters you tread. Do you know what I'm saying? Uh, me personally, listen, if it happens, <laughs> I will be the first to put my hands up and say, listen, I was wrong. You were right. But it doesn't matter. 
we all fight for a common goal, which is the betterment of Pi Network. Do you know what I'm saying? So, people, you need to listen and listen carefully. I am not. I used to be like a staunch anti-GCV. Right now, I'm sort of warming up to the idea. You know, I'm warming up to the idea. But you need to remember, it will all be dependent on the number of pi in circulation. You know, it will be dependent on the number of pi in circulation. So if the number of pi in circulation is in, it's probably 1 million, then we're talking about 314,000, you know, um, you understand, 314,000, uh, sorry, 314 mil million, uh, is it million or billion? So 314 billion uh, uh, dollars in market capitalization for Pi if we hit that with only 1 million in circulation. If we have 10 million in circulation, then we're going to have what? 3.14 billion, sorry, trillion Pi. And then if we have um, 100 million in circulation, then we're going to have 31.4, so approximately around 32 billion um so 32 trillion us dollars in market capitalization for pi now that will be that will blow everything out of the waters but anything is possible pi could be adopted by a lot of um, conglomerates a lot of uh, businesses and when that happens you know pi will become one of the main cryptocurrencies that's being used so if that's the case and it will all be dependent on our utility platforms how strong they become and that's why dr nicholas kukalis and jenja fan and all the members of the core team are trying to get us to you know, make it stronger, which means a lot of transactions have to take place for that to happen. But if that doesn't happen, we will still be okay because I still believe that the price of pi will be high. I believe it will be high. It might not be in the thousands for starters, but it'll probably be in the hundreds for starters, you know. And the least we can go probably be in the tens, which means 50s between 10 and 90 or 10 and 99. But whatever the case may be, the price of pi is not going to be low. I can tell you that the example is there for you to see in the IOUs that was uh, launched um, a few months ago. Do you understand what I'm saying? So people, I want you to know that... This GCV thing, whatever the case may be, let's not uh, let's understand the concept first. You need to understand the concept. Don't just talk about GCV. This that that's what I want it to be. No, understand the concept. If you understand the concept, you can make noises about it by justifying it or giving you like the way I talk. I try to justify certain things I talk about. I don't just blab into the air without, without giving you certain numbers to support my theory. Do you know what I mean? So if you've got anything you want to say, put it in the comment section. If you're watching this premiere right now, put it in the live section or even afterwards in the, in the comment section. And I'll try and respond. Do you know what I mean? Smash the like button on your way out. Listen, I love you all. The name is Ray Channels. Ray's United and the word is peace. And lately I do it in my car because I don't have time. When I get home, I'm tired. I'll see you in the next video.